Hi, I'm Jen Royal with the Boston Herald, and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town, sponsored by Aria Trattoria, one of the north end of Boston's greatest Italian restaurants. Okay, so we don't plan these things. We just, you know, request one of the players from the Bruins PR, and they're so gracious with us at the Herald that um, they end up giving us that guy. First, we had Seth Griffith. Didn't plan it, but we got him the day after. He uh, got that great goal between his legs, and today we're talking to Matt Barkowski, who had an amazing game. Uh, just last night against the St. Louis Blues. All right, Matt. So coincidentally, we, we caught you at a hot time after your game last night against St. Louis. Matt, honestly, how much did, did you need that personally for yourself? Uh, it was pretty big. I mean, I just halfway through the first period of the previous game, I started to play uh, more my game and then just carried it into this game. So it was, it, it's, good, it's good to you know sort of just play hockey again. Yeah. All right, so just reading about the game last night and the job that you did, uh, there's been words from the other writers such as swagger and, and mojo, but I'm assuming confidence played a huge role in, in the job that you did last night. Yeah, that's the main thing, just knowing that I can, you know, do what, whatever I need to or, or, you know, whatever you want to call it to help the team out is, is a big thing, and that's all confidence. So um, knowing that I have that confidence makes it a lot easier to play. Okay, so I want to go back uh, to Saturday's game against Carolina. Um, the healthy scratch to, to, to Trotman and just the fact that, you know, Claude Julian put you in uh, last night against St. Louis. How much did that game against Carolina sort of set the pace for you last night? Yeah, like, like I said, I mean, I just I started to play better. I started to play my game, and uh, um, you know, that was big because it, all it was was a confidence thing and starting to play hockey. So, And then uh, being able to carry that into to last night's game, you know, playing my game. Uh, your first point last night of the season comes on the goal uh, to, to Krug. Talking just to guys like Riley Smith and, and Dougie Hamilton and just the youth on this team, how nice is it to, to have all of you guys? I know that you're 26, not that you're old by any means, but how nice is it to just, just to, to play with the youth and see the jobs that they do day in and day out? Oh, it's, it's good. Um, just, you know, throughout the league and, and our team, it's good to have some some younger guys that can stay and are coming in and... Uh, you know, it's, it's starting to become a skating game uh, more than anything. So it's good to it's good to see younger guys succeed and do well, especially guys that we've been around for a while, like Kruger and Millsy and, and everyone. So it's good to see. Yeah, definitely. Uh, last question: Your coach, Claude Julian, says that you're your own worst enemy. Thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, he might be right there. I, I do. Uh, I mean, if it, I get in my head, I guess, a little bit. But yeah, but uh, I mean, you, you just got to learn to let things go a little bit and and. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. It's just hockey. It's just yeah. a game. It's just fun. It's just having fun. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Good job, Buster. Thank you.